Let's see. Breakfasts, breakfasts. Snatch for remedy, save my life. Steve, you ain't on your sh <sighs> Did that yesterday, all day. And I love omelets. If you're hungry, we're about to throw down. Action roll. And welcome back to Natural Remedy Save My Life. You know what it is. This is Summer Martin. And I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to share with you guys my favorite autoimmune breakfast recipes that are all vegan. We got to keep that inflammation down. But first, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And tell your friends, tell your auntie, tell your grandma, tell your cousin, even the one that you don't even talk to. The first recipe that I have for you guys is my avocado toast. It is Bomb. I have all these lovely ingredients that I get from the farmer's market so I know how to juice up all of my recipes and my avocado toast is definitely a little out of this world. The next thing I'm going to cook for you guys are waffles. These waffles are gluten free, they are rice free, and they are corn free. I'm also going to make for you guys my breakfast omelet, but this is dairy free, egg free, you guessed it, gluten free. And then to keep it on the lighter side, sometimes you might try to lean out a little bit. Then you can also do something really, really light. So I have a parfait coming to you guys, and that is also vegan. And I have a cheesy pudding coming to you guys. And that is almond milk free and coconut milk free. Don't know about you, but those two milks are really heavy on my system. So stay tuned. Let's share. It's time to eat. This recipe is the chia seed maple pecan pudding. Great for breakfast. All vegan. There's no dairy in this. There's no white refined sugars in this. There's no cheese. There's no carcinogens. There's no just gluck. If you're trying to keep slim, if you're on a meal plan right now and you have a few pounds to come on down, this is one of my favorites that I like to go to. I take two cups of oat milk and this is gluten free oat milk. I pour that on in and then I take a half a cup of chia seeds and I pour those in. I do two tablespoons of vanilla flavoring and I do one teaspoon of cinnamon. And then I go in, this is to your liking. I do about three tablespoons of maple sugar. You throw that in your bowl and you just whisk. You really have to whip it at the top to make sure the cinnamon breaks down really good because you want all that flavor in your pudding. So once you do that, you sit it and you set about 10 to 15 minutes aside. Don't touch it. At this point, you want your chia seeds to start to soften a little bit. Come back to it and you guessed it. With it. At this point, your chia seeds are starting to get nice and chunky. That's what we want. If they haven't gotten chunky yet, if they haven't started to soften up at all, I let it sit for another five minutes at least. You wanna pop a lid on it and put it in the refrigerator overnight. In the morning, and make some fresh puree. I mean, if you have a food processor, all you have to do is throw your strawberries in a food processor, and it comes out nice and pureed. I'm gonna actually put in my strawberry puree into the glass and then put another little layer of your chia seed pudding and then sprinkle some of those hemp seeds on there, put your granola in there, Bomb this. My lovely chia seed pudding, vegan, gluten free breakfast. We have our strawberry puree at the bottom, blending itself in. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's great for autoimmune healing. So it's gonna be good for your joints with all these great omega 3s and omega 6s and the chia seeds and also in the hemp seeds. It's perfect. This recipe is waffles. Gluten-free, corn-free, rice-free waffles. So my spelt flour is going in the bowl. The spelt flour has been a great flour substitute for all of my cooking, to be honest with you. Anytime I need to fry something, I'm using spelt flour. Making pancakes, spelt flour. And I have my baking powder, salt, my matcha green tea, and cinnamon. So I'm gonna put all my dry ingredients. I'm learning to use oat milk with a little bit of that coconut sugar in here, vanilla extract. Oh, 
So these can cook however you like them. They can be crispy. You can make them thin if you like. I like my waffles to be a little thick. I love the mixture of walnuts and blueberries, so I went with blueberries for that. Sprinkle a little extra cinnamon on top, you know, keep it nice and good for the gut. So here we have it. These are my favorite, favorite vegan waffles. This recipe is bomb. They're so fluffy, they're light. I want it to look pretty and I want it to give that breakfast feel. So as soon as you look at the plate, you're like, I gotta make this right now. This recipe is my favorite parfait made with vegan coconut yogurt. This parfait is so good, I can eat it any time of the day. I put together my yogurt and my granola and my fruit and spiced it with a little cinnamon and psh, I'm off to the races. I'm going in. It is heavy probiotics, so you don't want to overload probiotics either. I'm going to put in my fruit. Have you guys heard that berries help dry out the digestive tract? This is um, grounded Saigon cinnamon. This is a coconut granola. There's no wheat in here. There's no oats in here. There's nothing but coconut. And that is it. This literally took five minutes to put together. And it's so good. Mm. And this looks like it's light and fluffy like that, but this is heavy. So you're gonna be pretty full if you knock this down. So this next recipe is avocado toast with red pepper hummus. I'm gonna show you guys how I make my avocado mix and also how I layer this bread for this toast. And this, again, is gonna be really, really good. Great nutrition. You get your healthy fats from your avocado, give you lots of energy for the day. So this is a good, good, good breakfast recipe to start. Let's talk about this bread for a minute. You definitely want to have a gluten-free, rice-free, grain-free bread. What I have here is avocado, I have tomato, I have red pepper hummus, freshly made from the farmer's market, and then I have a rosemary ginger garlic spread that I like to put in my avocado when I'm mashing my avocado. So we're just gonna scoop these bad boys out. So I'm gonna kind of leave this a little chunky. I'm gonna go in with some salt and pepper. And then I'm gonna do a little onion powder. This ginger garlic sauce. It's vegan, get it from the farmer's market of course. I put a nice dollop of this in. I'm just gonna whip this together. All right, my toast is in the oven, so I got about two minutes to get this tomato off. I'm only using a little bit. I just want a little flavor. So I'm gonna start off with this red pepper hummus spread. It's time for some avocado. Then I just take a couple pieces of tomato. Get some sprouts on there. It is time to eat. Breakfast is served. As you can see, I've already dug in. If you are working on your weight goals, working on staying fit, staying lean, this definitely is a great fat burner too. This recipe is a vegan omelet. Now stop. Break it down. I don't want to hear no mess. I love eggs. When I say I love eggs, boiled eggs, fried eggs, over medium eggs. Any way you can make an egg, I would eat eggs. So when I say I love eggs and I love this vegan recipe for an omelet, trust me, I'm about to share all this goodness with you. Let's get going. So first of all, I have my chickpea flour and I start off with one cup of chickpea flour. And as you know, chickpeas are full of protein. So you're gonna get a nice protein pack filled breakfast with this. And this is hearty, this is heavy, it will fill you up. And this will normally make me about two omelets. So it depends on how many people you're working with or how many people you're cooking for. You'll have plenty for your breakfast. First, I'm gonna season up my powder. I'm gonna put in two shakes of turmeric. Then I'm gonna put in about a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon and a half of baking powder, depending on how much chickpea flour you have. Then I'm gonna give it some yummy nutritional yeast. I'm gonna do some black pepper. I'm gonna put in some garden vegetable seasoning. And then I'm gonna do some onion powder. I'm gonna do some Italian seasoning. Then my garlic. And then, drum roll, please. I mean, I need a red carpet for this bad boy. This I had to order online and I will have the link below. 
This is Kala Kamak. This is an African salt that you use as an egg flavoring. Say what the, yes, egg flavoring. This little guy right here, this smells like eggs. It tastes like eggs, like fresh, fried, scrambled, boiled eggs. This ain't more along the boil line, like who cut the cheese? But I'm telling you, it's going to give this vegan omelet that egg flavor that none of the other vegan omelets have. After I add all my dry seasonings, I like to go in and mix it with my water. This is how you're gonna make your batter. So you wanna get it nice and a little less thick than a pancake batter. You don't want it to be too, too thick because when you cook it, it's gonna be super cakey. You don't want it to be too watery because then it's not really gonna hold your omelet in. And then I like to saute my, my vegetables. So once you get those sauteed, you set those aside, and now it's time to get that almond in the pan. So this is the final omelet. I can smell all the egg flavor and the onions and the bell pepper. I topped it off with a little dollop of cilantro hummus. So you know that's gonna taste so good. I mean, this is gonna keep you nice and heavy. Trust me. So yes, these are my five favorite vegan breakfast recipes. Enjoy this vegan omelet. Enjoy those gluten-free vegan waffles. Enjoy that quick parfait on the way out the door. And please, like, suck down that chia seed pudding. It is so good. Give me some comments. Let me know how you guys feel. Click subscribe, click like, get into it. Let's eat. I'm trying to get you guys to get out, but... <laughs> uh.